man. Um, I, I saw yesterday Finn alone. He wrote, when a lake is still, it reflects that which is above it. Mm. And so if you uh, are still, then you will reflect him who is above you. Mm. But if you are restless, it's hard for the image of him who's from above you or is above you to come through you. I thought that was rich. That's so crazy. That's legit crazy because during worship, literally what kept, what was coming to me was in verse 16 of 2 Corinthians 3. It says, whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord, the spirit. So I was literally meditating on that. And then the other passage that came to me was in Colossians 3. And Colossians 3 says, it says, therefore, if you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above and not on the things of the earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. And then verse 10 um, it says, and, and have been put on the new self who has been renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. And so uh, for me, uh, that's what I was meditating on, like he, that Christ is our glory, that as we continue to behold him, we are changed into that same image that we're beholding. And also as we understand it to be true, we are made new, renewed after the true knowledge of the image of the one who created us. And so the renewal of the spirit, the renewal of self comes through the, a revelation of, of looking at Christ. <laughs> you think that's true, Jackie? I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my job. I was keeping you guys framed up over here. Do you see me in there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I was so television, I couldn't hear you. She wasn't even listening. Yeah. <laughs> Bless the Lord. That's amazing. All right. So. So. So what do you want to talk about? Well, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Sounds good. Let's do it. What do you think? Um, in my, in my channel, uh, I have a lot of questions. A lot of people ask me. Um, like how do I hear the voice of the Lord you know a, a lot of people because I do a lot of like prophetic stuff mm -hmm. um, a lot of people want to know about visions and all that and all that is good but what would you say to someone that would ask those type of questions like mm -hmm. what would what would be an appropriate uh, response for someone that's looking for those things but um, n without just making it about that Mm -hmm. Like, what would you say to that person? I mean, I've, to be really simple, if I'm going to be like real basic, I'm going to say a lot of people that don't hear the Lord have dusty Bibles. Simple. People just don't pick up the word and read prayerfully. Um, some people will read uh, religiously, like just trying to make sure they get a chapter down. But when you read prayerfully, Lord, open my eyes. Lord, show me what's being said. Show me Jesus. Let me um, sense you in the text and pass through the text into your person you know this kind of prayerful looking into the scriptures i think is the key to, to hearing god i mean i've had visions i've had dreams i've had you know images and stuff shown to me but all of those things though they're great they are secondary mm -hmm. in power and in potency to the to the word of god mm -hmm. itself mm -hmm. so i would say just as simple as this a lot of people that can't hear god just have dusty bibles Guys, I'm going to put the link in the description. Please subscribe to Eric's channel. He has single, like, literally, he has changed my life in relationship to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And so, please, subscribe, follow him, and um, you'll be blessed. Trust me. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was great. That's good, man.